it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Uh, there's lots of desire, understandably, for, for hopeful headlines out there in terms of where we are with this pandemic. I, I want to be hopeful as well. Uh, but you got to sort of make sure you're reading beyond those headlines and, and going to the next, the next few lines of the article to really understand the context. Um, I like to find sources that they themselves are well sourced. So, you know, if you're reading certain articles, uh, are they actually giving you the citations for which they're basing their, their thinking on? It's, it, it can be work. Set aside some time to do this. If you start really looking at the data, you'll find that um, to take uh, you know, um, early observational studies, less than a quarter of the time do they actually pan out into something that is then verified through what is called a randomized controlled study. A lot of the headlines that you're reading about are either coming from preprints, so these are observational studies that have not been peer reviewed. Sometimes they're coming as press releases from the companies themselves. And you know, I, sometimes those can be very uh, interesting developments, but you have to take that with a grain of salt. If you have a company that is uh, releasing a product, it's a for-profit company, and they're giving you news via a press release, I, I, that has to be verified, and, and that is our job. And you know, sometimes it's hard because it's such a fast-moving news cycle right now. So certainly, you have to be very transparent. This has not been peer-reviewed. This is not even a preprint. This is just a press release. So. We're going to follow the story as it comes along, but you know, we, we, we don't want to, to put too much into it at this point. If there's a original sin, I think, uh, is that I think that the idea that this was a hoax, that this was not even real in the beginning, um, was, was, ended up being re really destructive. I think a lot of things sort of followed from that. Um, there was a lack of testing initially. Look at the dates. I, I, now more than ever, I mean, the, the, the information does change. So, you know, look, if you're sharing something from February, there's, you should probably spend a few minutes seeing if that information, that knowledge has been updated because it probably has since then. Do, do take the extra beat. I mean, you know, we, we are in a headline society, but do take the extra beat to, to be confident about this one. This one's too important to, to not take that extra beat, no matter your age, no matter where you live in the country. Um, and, and if you're gonna uh, spread more information, um, as you both said, Angie and you, Alex, uh, make sure it's good information because, you know, you could really help people. You don't get a lot of chances in life to do the right thing. Um, now's one of them.